A lot of people ask, when is a good time to start working on your credit if you're trying to buy a house? Stay tuned and learn some tips and tricks on how you can do that efficiently. Some of the few things that people don't know what you can do is, number one, if you're currently a renter and you paid all your rent on time, there are services out there that your landlord could report your credit as paid on time in full up to two years. And it's a small fee. They charge maybe 50, 60, 70 dollars. And you can have your good payment of rent reported to all bureaus. One of those websites is actually creditrentboost.com. I actually have used for my tenants creditrentboost.com works pretty well. And uh, that's one way. Number two, if you have credit cards, don't pay them off. The myth is pay off your credit, pay down your credit, make sure you have zero debt. Zero debt means that you cannot prove to the bank that you can pay your bills. What I would suggest you do is you actually pay your debt or your credit to 50% of the limit amount. So let's just say if you have a $5,000 credit card that you want to keep that limit when you're looking for a house, especially under 2,500 or right at 2,500 maximum, you can pay more than your minimum monthly payment. You can pay a thousand or 500 if you know you're going to charge it up that month. But at the same time, don't pay it off by paying it on time. It actually gives you a credit boost. Number three, there are credit repair companies out there, but be careful. Many of the credit repair companies actually don't do very much and they charge you quite a bit. There are lenders out there working hand in hand with credit repair companies that can help you choose the right company to work with. As an example, one of the lenders refers and uses what's called Concor Credit Management. If you like that information, feel free to reach out and I'll go ahead and give you that information directly. Number four and finally, why should people care about this and why should you care? And why think about your credit right now before you're actually looking at buying a house? I say meet with an agent, meet with me, let's put everything on paper to see where you're at. So when it's time to buy that house, you have the best credit possible. What that does is give you the best lowest rate and give you the best monthly mortgage. The better the credit, the lower the mortgage. Makes sense. Thanks so much for watching and as always smash that like button and we'll get some likes. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, not concerns, but if you have questions, comments, or any suggestions, please uh, put them below. Thank you very much for watching again. This is Sergio Flores.